The Brotherhood that now controls the world is the modern expression of the Babylonian Brotherhood composed of reptilian Aryan priests and royal families who descended into this region immediately. After the flood, about 6,000 years ago. That was the period they had the manipulated beliefs of today's great religions first appeared. According to ancient texts and legends, the founder of Babylon was Nimrod. Who ruled on him and his wife, Semiramide. Nimrod was described as a tyrant omnipotent, one of the giants. The Arabs believed that the one who built, or rebuilt, after the amazing Baalbek structure in Lebanon, with its three pillars in stone weighing every 800 tons, was Nimrod. He is said to have ruled over the region of Lebanon today, and according to Biblical Genesis, the first centers of Nimrod's kingdom were Babylon, Akkada, and others in Shinna, Suma. Later, it spread to Assyria, building cities such as Nineveh, where they were numerous Sumerian tablets found. Nimrod and Semiramide belonged to that line genealogy later known as Titans, a line of succession made up of reptilian-possessed people and pure-blooded reptiles. It is believed that this race of giants, or titans, were the descendants of Noah, the baby described in the Book of Enoch, later version of the Book of Noah, as a hybrid human with very white skin. In Genesis, Nimrod's father is called Cush. He was also known as Bel or Belus and was the grandson of Noah and the son of Ham. May Cush later became known as the god Hermes, the son of Ham. Harness or Chem means the burnt one, and this name may have been associated with worship the sun. Many of the gods of antiquity first appeared in Babylon, then spread to Babylon, Egypt. Nimrod and Semiramis have remained the principal deities of the Brotherhood to this day, under different names and symbols. Nimrod was symbolized as a fish, and Queen Semiramis as a fish and a dove. She is also a symbol of Ninkarsag, the creator of the races of reptilian-human hybrids. Nimrod was considered a dragon god and was depicted as a dragon god half man, half fish. This symbol may be reminiscent of this that he was half human, half reptile with scales. Queen Semiramis was also symbolized as a fish, as the Babylonians believed fish is an aphrodisiac. In time, she became the goddess of love, hence the symbolism fish in Christianity, also reflected in Christian architecture. In her guise of spirit holy, Semiramide is presented as a dove with an olive branch in its beak. Of otherwise, its name means the bearer of the branch. If we take into account the roots Ze, article, Emir, branch, and Amet, carrier, we can also notice in passing the similarity between this symbolism and that of its legend Noah and the Great Flood, when a dove returned to Noah's ark holding a beak olive branch. Should this symbol refer to the return of reptiles after the flood? The name Semiramide also derives from that of an earlier Indian deity, Samiramasi, or Semiramis. Fish and pigeon are two symbols still used widely used in religious rituals and national ceremonies today, though the sea most people have no idea what their true meaning is. Sinn Féin, the political branch of the Northern Ireland terrorist group IRA, has as its symbol a pigeon. The same image can be found on many of the scepters held in hand of British monarchs. This is not a coincidence, because both organizations represent modern coverings of the Babylonian Brotherhood, and the dove symbolizes the Queen Semiramide. For these people, the dove is not a symbol of peace, but of death and destruction, knowing that the Brotherhood frequently uses inverted symbolism. He represents a positive symbol for the broad masses but a negative one for the Brotherhood. This reversal of symbolism allows them to display their symbols in public places without fear of someone he will complain. Semiramide was also known as the Queen of Heaven, or Rhea, the Virgin Mother of the Gods, and sometimes as the Great Mother of the Earth, Ninkarsag. She was also worshipped under the name of Astarte, the woman who built the towers, with obvious reference to the Tower of Babel, Babylon, attributed to Nimrod. The royal lines of succession in Europe come from the reptilian Aryan lineages of Babylon, and their crowns appeared as a result of Nimrod's cuckold hairstyle. The horns symbolized the authority of the monarch and in time turned into a diadem made of metal with three horns, which symbolized the royal power invested with divine authority.
To at present, it is represented by the lily symbol, which appears everywhere on the insignia of the European royal houses. As I said earlier, the royal hierarchy draconian, winged albino, is endowed with horns. The classic image of the devil is also cuckolded. One of the titles he wore Nimrod was that of Baal, Lord. To whom Baal T, my lady, corresponded for Semiramide. The Latin expression for, my lady, was Mea Domina, who a later became Madonna in Italian. Nimrod was represented in two ways. By God the Father and by Ninus, son of Semiramide, and its olive branch was a symbol of her offspring born through a virgin birth. Ninus was also known as Tammuz, who is said to have been crucified with a lamb at his feet, then buried in a cave. Three days later, when the stone at the mouth of the cave was set aside, his body was gone. Sounds familiar to you the story? This theme of the husband-wife-son, respectively Nimrod Semiramida Ninus, Tammuz later became the Osiris Isis Horus trilogy in Egyptian mythology, which has equivalents in India, Asia, China, and virtually anywhere in the world. A few millennia later, it would become the Joseph Mary Jesus trilogy. During the spring rituals in which they celebrated his death and resurrection after three days Tammuz Ninus, the Babylonians deposited buns on which it was printed the solar cross. Well, yes, even the tradition of hotcakes on which a cross is printed which the English apply at Passover is also of Babylonian origin. In fact, the word Easter also comes from one of the names given to the Queen Semiramide, Ishtar, and is not excluded as the expression Command of Ashtar, a belief manipulated New Age type. Referring to an alien, hero, who will come to us save, to come from another Babylonian deity, Ashtaroth. Mythology and symbolism Babylonian is the foundation of all the major religions of the world. Especially the Christianity, the Catholic Church was the creation of the Babylonian Brotherhood, and the Pope also wears the now a fish-shaped mitre, symbolizing Nimrod. This is also the meaning of the fisherman's ring that he wears. The papacy claimed for a long time the seat of Saint Peter in the Vatican has been a holy relic. But a commission composed of scientists established in 1968 that it is not older than the 9th century. More significant is the fact that the papal seat is decorated, according to the Encyclopedia Catholics, with twelve plates showing illustrations of Hercules' twelve works. From the same work we learn that Hercules was another name for Nimrod before he became a demigod of the Greeks. In 1825, Pope Leo XII authorized the production of a jubilee coins on which a woman was presented in a position strongly reminiscent of the symbolism of Queen Semiramis. She was holding a crucifix in her left hand, a cup in her his right hand, and on his head was a crown with seven points, like the one on the head of the Statue Freedom, another symbol of Semiramide. Donated to New York City by Freemasons French. An acquaintance who has relatives who hold top positions at the Vatican told me that during Pope John Paul II was allowed to tour the Vatican leaving him speechless gaping. For example, he was shown the Pope's massive gold bath, decorated with symbols astrological and could look inside the vacuum boxes containing thousands of documents and esoteric books stolen during hundreds of years of religious dictatorship, and then kept away from public eye. The Catholic Church and the Babylonian Brotherhood are in fact one and the same. Nimrod was also known as Anus the two-faced god who he later became Janus to the Romans. One of the Anunnaki brothers, the serpent god, Enki, a he was also known as her. The two-headed Freemason eagle. One the one facing right and the other facing left are a symbol of him Nimrod in his guise of Anus, but perhaps of a winged draconian. It is said that Anus kept the keys of the gate of heaven, being the only intermediary between God and humanity.